Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Town. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Welcome to episode three of Throat Week. Throat Week. Throat 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 Upright on Throat Gate. How's Jonas, how's the throat doing today? I guess it's fine. <laughs> I guess it's fine. It sounded like there was some trepidation in your voice. I guess it's fine, TNT. I don't want to bring it up for the third day in a row. <laughs> I don't know. I saw him stumble on a glass of water earlier. I don't know if <laughs> he he's... wants to go take a sip of water and spill it all down his chest. <laughs> It's like MC Hammer in that song. I don't know if he's going to be able to perform down the stretch. I don't know. By day five this week, it might be trouble. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, anyway, so TNT, um, have you ever had an annoying neighbor? I don't know if you've lived in that. Yeah. Neighborhood. Wow. Yes. All right. I wasn't. Let's go. What up? Brother. Oh, my God, man. I mean, I might not even get to the story oh, at this point. I want to hear about man. your annoying neighbor. Bro, you gave me like, I have like PST. I haven't thought about. What is that? PTSD. PTSD. <laughs> I haven't thought about that person in years. Now my I'm going to. Damn it, dude. Oh, my God. When I lived in Pennsylvania, uh, I lived like right next to the lake too. Like maybe like five minutes from the lake near uh, like, was it Waldermere? I think it is. I don't not know. sure. People, people from there don't know if they know. Uh, either way, I live next to Waldemir, and there was a, a, a family that moved in. It was like a, a son. He was uh, skinny. I believe he was a, a, a user. He had the, uh, the look of one. Could what's, be being, the, what's the look? You know, like emaciated, kind of skinny, uh, missing some, some, you know, dental work there. Um, oh, okay. Um, you know, kind of sniffly face marks and scratches and stuff. Oh, Regardless, face marks. Yeah, you know. You know. I gotcha. okay. And yeah. uh, he lived there with his mom and his girlfriend. And uh, I just remember, like, the mom coming over and knocking on the door saying, I need to use your phone. <laughs> they got into a fight and they're in here fighting and I need to use your phone. Oh, and Lord. then it was like. Okay, lady, I'm trying to sleep. I work night shift. I can't. And it happened on numerous occasions. She'd come over. Why didn't she just buy a phone? Because she <laughs> was poor. She was too busy to <laughs> <and> crack? Because <laughs> they were poor. I mean, possibly. I don't know. I just remember it being some of the worst experiences of my life, man. And I just would, I would hate it. I'd just be there minding my own business. Hello, how you doing tonight? Can I just ask you a question? Can I use your phone? Lady, my, kid, <laughs> my kids are my kids are fighting again. Yeah. Like every time it was kids fight? Uh no, it wasn't always a fight. Sometimes she just wanted to call somebody to Oh, get so a she ride. just wanted to use your phone. I just need to get a ride to go to the grocery store. I haven't eaten all day, honey. Can I use your phone? <laughs> this uh I guess there was this guy has a neighbor. He wasn't like that bad of a neighbor, but one time he didn't pay his electric bill and he yeah. came over and was like, "Can I run a uh, extension cord in your garage and <laughs> I've steal heard some power?" This before. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> told I me mean, we were like, them. "Sure, bro. Yeah, it's fine. We give." You like, let him? Yeah, we we were like, "Whatever, dude." And like, so he was. I mean, he was weird. Uh, that guy. Who, did I have any other neighbors? Mom, I had. Mom, oh, I had a neighbor who killed house herself. Now. That was messed I'm up. I'm sorry. That's not a bad neighbor. <laughs> no, 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 no. She used to like no, <laughs> like a... no. She she. Uh, I mean, it's unfortunate that she killed herself. I mean, yeah, we gotta highlight that she was the neighbor across the hall. I only met her in passing. But what would happen is her family would come and pound on her apartment door. Like, why? Like, so like they didn't live there, but they'd come and pa her name was Dawn. They'd be like, do, 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 Dawn, Dawn, do, 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 do. And they'd stand out there for like an hour pounding on her door. And then finally you would hear open the door and like yell at them and then slam the door and then they'd leave. And then one day they came and pounded on the door forever. And then the coroner was outside. So I feel like she was in crisis and they were coming to check uh, on her constantly. And then one day she actually was dead. And it was, I was like, holy shit. Like yeah, that was, I was like, wild dude. Like, I mean, I, so I just assumed that she killed herself or overdosed or something. Holy because shit. That, bro, that happened probably, probably 10 times like that. They did that. And I was like, Oh, she was probably suicidal in crisis, a drug addict, something making threats or some shit. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It was wild. But yeah, then the one day up in the shit. corner was out there. Yeah. Um, um wow. And then the other wow. neighbor that was the next neighbor down. Holy shit. They used to 
they like I like I our bedrooms I think were connected like wall to wall. And then like sometimes they must have been every time they had sexy time, they would turn on music really loud in their apartment. And like I couldn't it would be like it would go for like two hours. And it's like it, it basically like I'm listening to their like R. Kelly greatest hits in my bedroom. Ah! I could I was just like, oh, that was good. <laughs> you, you ain't slip a note under his door or like, just me. go to the rental office and be like, look, man. Yeah, I'm not, do I, I don't try to be a narc, man. I, try to, I, I, uh, I did have, uh, let's see, would I have any other neighbors that were weird? I've never had a really cool neighbor, though. Like, you know, where you're like, man, that's my homie. Or like, where you hang out with your neighbor, or like, you, you know, like, some people are like, yeah, my upstairs neighbor, yeah, we hang out all the time, we play video games, we drink. Like, right. yeah, yeah, I've never had that ever. I would much rather have that than the girl who ends up, like, having her family come and, like, try to rescue her constantly, like... <laughs> I still don't like you calling that a bad neighbor. That's kind of, kind of ridiculous to me, but whatever. I mean, I, she's not. A, she wasn't a bad. It's just. I mean, that's an inconvenient thing. To, to <laughs> that's inconvenience. Listen, the woman. <laughs> listen, I'm not. If there is one point in time where I think somebody gets a pass for being an inconvenience, it is if it's I mean, so that somebody could potentially save their fucking life. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, well, you just talked about your neighbor. Her son was beating the ish out of her. No, nobody was going to die. I mean. Man, nobody was going to die. Know she that. Just, you she know, just wanted to use my phone. She it was, was always, poor. What if she was calling to save herself? Do you have a cigarette? I know you smoke cigarettes. Do either one of you have a cigarette? Oh, she would just come and get a cigarette? Brother, it was anything and everything. She came over. She's like, hi, are you watching? Who's the uh, boss? You can, no, I'm I mean, no, my anxiety I wouldn't, I wouldn't, going yeah, on. I mean, you're not right. I wouldn't control. call her a bad neighbor. <laughs> um, I'm but sorry it, that you no, got but it was like, I guess the whole theme is like, in, like weird neighbor things that happen. No, right? no, no. That's that that the first one was absolutely insane. Um, the second one was uh, that, that was that's pretty bad too. The the the, the sexy time. Yeah, the, the sexy yeah. time is pretty bad. They were in the same building. I've, I've definitely uh, I've lived in an apartment where it was like. Like I could hear like some dude and his and his girlfriend like he was roughing her up and stuff and you know I did the responsible thing and I uh you know I was like uh, I minded my business yeah and then I like caught her I was like you good you know I just asked her one time at the mailbox if she was good and she she was like she said she was all right she darted her eyes left and right really fast yeah, like is he no. here. <laughs> What do you do in that situation? What would you do in that situation? Are you calling the cops? I think, I feel like, I feel like I did call the cops on my neighbors below me once. Because, like, I heard, like, yelling and screaming and thrashing around. Like, I want to feel like, I feel like I did one time. Because, like, it's like, I try to mind my own business. It's what, like, if if I just hear people yelling... I mean, depending if like I hear them yelling, I'm going to kill you or something like that. That's different. But if I just hear two people yelling, I try to mind my own business. But if I like hear yelling, things being thrown, somebody being hit, like whether it's the guy or the girl, I don't care. I feel like you have kind of a duty to like be like, can, can maybe I, you should do a wellness check. Can I put my hand up? If, sure. Can I put my hand up. <sighs> I only bring this up because it's of its relevance. Me and you both. Had a friend who was in a relationship where he would have stuff thrown at him. Did we? And he would be hit. Did we? You know how she would get when she got a little intoxicated. What? Imagine if she had seen her the picture that's on our refrigerator. Oh, Oh, oh I, now I, we know. I didn't realize it got that bad. Yeah. Oh. I've seen, I've seen I mean, her brother. I've, I mean, I saw, I mean, I've seen her. You've seen her go nuts before. Come on. But I didn't like, okay, well, I mean. And I'm just saying it's like, and then man, we were always like, oh, I guess he's got it under control. In that situation, we probably should have called the cops, right? I never saw him get hit. Oh, I never saw her throw anything at him. Yeah. But you were over there a little more than I. I mean, like yeah. I, I was always there mainly during parties, and I would hang out occasionally. Normally, she would just be doing her own thing. Uh, like I, but you, I know you used to live right by them, so you yeah, pop yeah. over all the time yeah. and I catch mean, her on I'm a random night. Like, I just feel like I didn't call, a, I didn't call the cops on that situation because it's like to some extent 
it is really none of my business and i feel like it's none, none of anybody's business if somebody's life is in danger then yeah i i feel like you got to do something but for the most part like the the onus falls on the individuals involved yeah, yeah, I try to stay I try to keep my own business in I would general never, about most stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. I but, would never I would ne- honestly in, for my own safety to a lot of that extent because it's like if I say something it turns out that she's I don't want to press charges and he's like I know it was that MF that called the cops. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm saying is like if you live in an apartment building and you call on the neighbors below you, how are they going to know it was you that called? Man. I don't need to even be I'm on not even ra- taking that risk. I don't want to be on anybody's radar like that, you know? Me neither. No, dude. Like if 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 I confront if I confront you in a in a neutral place and I'm like, "Are you good?" and you say yes or you say no, we're going to keep it moving and yeah, you are right. Yeah. You are right in that situation. One time my mom had to call on our neighbor cuz he was him and his girl were fighting really hard and like we thought that he was, he might be beating on her, so we had to call the had to call the police to come do a wellness check. Hey. Like, I mean, I man, definitely like, agree to that. Pe- people fight, but like, if you hear like, yeah, you hear like thrashing and stuff, it might be like, hey, you want to do a check real fast just to make sure nobody's in there getting the F beat out of them, dude. Like, I mean, nobody deserves that regardless of what's happening, man or woman. So, oh, man, you're not even wrong. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to crazy9.com for Jonas. TNT. Yep.